How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to the largest black hole in the universe by In A Nutshell. Alright, so I'm super excited to get back into In A Nutshell. I love their videos so, so much, but y'all guys obviously already know because you watch my videos talking about their videos. But <laughs> anyway, like I'm so excited and I know I missed a couple. I, I, two? I know for sure. I might have missed more, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this one just really, really fascinates me because like, uh, I know I keep talking about it here and there in my videos, but I went into Gundam recently, like my newest hobby, and I fell in love, like instantly in love, and I love the size comparison. It, I know it's weird, like, oh, Gundam, like it's so cool, giant robots and stuff like that, but my fascination from it is the size comparison, like compared to humans and just bigger Gundams and machinery and stuff like that. I love that. And I saw this, the largest black hole in the universe size comparison, like that's really, really cool. And uh, I know I'm just like, I don't know exactly what this video is about. I'm, I'm assuming, which is kind of bad, but I'm human, so we just assume things all the time. I'm assuming this video is just going to be a literal size comparison. Like, here's Earth, here's a black hole, here's a bigger black hole, here's the sun, stuff like that. And I'm really, really excited. So without any further ado, here is the largest black hole in the universe. The largest things in the universe are black holes. Yeah, turn it down a little bit. In contrast to things like planets or stars, they have no physical size limit and can literally grow endlessly. Although in That's reality, pretty cool. specific things need to happen to create different kinds of black holes, from really tiny ones to the largest single things in the universe. <laughs> so how do oh, black holes grow? I thought that and was the big one. <laughs> is the largest of them all? Oh, I'm already excited. Monkey! Why do you have a Bitcoin? This video will not discuss how black holes work or how they form, since we've looked at that in detail. Was I right? Black hole and neutron star series. Yeah. You can check them out afterwards. I already did it. Now we're interested in finding the, the black largest hole thing in the universe. Let's start really, really small. Primordial black holes. That's no, like 80s. <laughs> kind of black holes may or may not exist. If they do, they're probably the oldest objects in the universe, older even than atoms. Oh, super old. The Big Bang, when the universe was so dense with violent oh, wow. energy that any tiny pocket that was just slightly more dense than its neighbors could produce a black hole. The smallest primordial black hole that could still be around would be a trillion kilograms or so, the mass of a big mountain. Okay. And yet they would be no bigger than a proton. A primordial That's what's crazy about black holes, man. Earth would barely be larger than a coin. This That's why the monkey had a coin. Find, okay, so we haven't actually observed makes sense. Any yet. If they exist, they may even be the mysterious dark matter that holds oh. galaxies together. Dark matter's Let's cool, move though. move on to the kinds of black holes that we know for sure are out there. Stellar! Stellar black holes. <laughs> Again, 80s theme. black hole, we need to compress enough matter so that it collapses into itself. After that, the more mass we throw at it, the larger it becomes. In today's universe, right on. only the most violent cosmic events can create the necessary conditions, such as the merger of that is pretty, stars, though. or when the core of a very massive star collapses Aww. in a supernova. Destruction has never been more beautiful. We'll use the mass of our sun, about two million trillion trillion kilograms. <laughs> right on. The smallest known black hole has 2.7 times the mass of the sun, which works out as a sphere around 16 <laughs> kilometers in diameter, large enough to cover Paris. You imagine if that was Another actually floating over pairs? Is the companion to no, the thank you. Mon red giant star. This star is 24 times larger than our sun, 30 million you don't kilometers say. in diameter. And yet, it's thrown around by a tiny black hole just 17.2 <laughs> kilometers wide. This what? tiny thing bullying the star is so much smaller so that we can barely even show them in comparison. One of the largest known stellar black holes is M33X7. Oh. It currently spends its time eating a 70 solar mass Whoa. giant bit by bit. That is As awesome. All that stolen matter circles towards the black hole, like water going down a drain. Friction heats it up to temperatures high enough to shine 500,000 times brighter than our sun. And I haven't even checked if my computer can handle this. Only 15.65 solar masses and 92 kilometers wide, just big enough to cast a shadow on Corsica. To grow much larger, black holes have to either devour a lot of stars, or better, merge with one another. 
The instruments that make it possible to detect these mergers are I'm not talking that much, I apologize. So <laughs> I'm fascinated. Things, like two massive black holes that we detected in a galaxy 17 billion light years away. Dang. As they spun around each other violently, they released more energy in the form of gravitational waves than the combined light from all the stars in the Milky Way in 4,400 years. The new okay. black hole they formed is about the size of Germany and is 142 solar masses. Alright, we're getting a little bigger. And here, we hit a, little. a curious gap in scale. There are lots of black holes up to 150 solar masses, and then there's nothing for a long time. Until we suddenly Why? hit black holes that are millions oh of times Oh my god. Massive, <laughs> you can't even see the first one anymore. The idea that black holes are consistently growing and growing. Uh -huh. But for the most massive black holes, this process is not fast enough. You can't even see the biggest one their down there. Today. The universe is simply not old enough for these supermassive black holes to be formed by eating stars and merging with each other. Something else must have happened. Oh no! To explain how we got the largest black holes in the universe, we might need the largest stars that ever existed. Quasi stars. To get a sense of scale, we can compare them to the largest stars that exist today. Our oh, that's not even our like sun. A grain of sand next to them. Wow. We don't know if quasi stars actually existed, but oh, I love this so much. To supercharging black hole development. The idea is that the matter in the early universe was so dense that quasi stars could grow to thousands of times <laughs> the mass of our sun. The cores of these stars might have been crushed by their own weight so much to actually collapse into black holes while the star was still forming. In contrast to stars today that would destroy themselves in the process, inside quasi stars, a deadly balance could emerge. Gravity pressed the supermassive star together, feeding the black hole and heating the material I mean, falling in to such a degree uh, that the right. kept the star stable. And so these quickly growing black holes might have been able to consume the quasi star for millions of years and grow far bigger than any modern stellar black hole. Black holes several thousand times the mass of the sun and wider than the entire Earth. These black Bro. holes might have become the seeds for supermassive black holes. Hey oh, that's a cool name. So now we arrive at the kings of our universe, the, the largest kings. single bodies in existence. The centers of most galaxies contain a supermassive black hole, and they are monstrous. In How the big we talking? Way, we have Sagittarius A star, a supermassive black hole with about four million solar masses that is calm and collected and just does its thing. We know it sits there because we can see a number of stars being thrown around by a seemingly empty spot. And despite its incredible mass, its radius is still only 17 times our sun. Only? Smaller than I can barely comprehend stars, this, man. But millions of times more massive. Because supermassive black holes are so massive and located at the center of galaxies, many people imagine them as being a bit like the sun in the solar system. An anchor that glues everything else together what I kind and of forces assumed. it into an orbit. But this is a misconception. Sorry. While the sun makes up 99.6% of all the mass in the solar system, supermassive black holes usually only have 0.001% of the mass of their galaxy. The billions okay. of stars in galaxies are not gravitationally galaxies them. big. Instead, it's the gravitational Very effect big. of dark matter which holds them together. Many supermassive black holes aren't gentle giants, especially when they're feeding on the clouds of mass in their galaxy. The one at the center of the BL Lacerti galaxy is devouring so much material that it produces Never heard jets of, of plasma accelerated to nearly the speed of light. I'm sorry? If Earth were oh this my body, god. It would seem 115 times larger than our sun in the Yeah, sky, I'm about to die. To a crisp in seconds by its glowing hot accretion disk. At it's like point, interstellar or something. So That's cool. The stars seem ridiculously tiny compared to them. Okay, we the just got to the I can't comprehend mode. A supermassive black hole That's just 2. 5 big. Billion solar masses and 14.7 billion kilometers. Even the music, the man. If it took the place of our sun, it would swallow it's so epic. and stretch halfway to the edge of our solar system. <laughs> it's devouring so much mass and material that it churns its disk into a kind of magnetic funnel, spewing gas out, making tremendous radio lobes towering over the galaxy half a million oh. light years in diameter. Oh, that's so pretty. That's two and a half Milky Ways wide. Another pretty large. Now when I said the galaxies are big, in the galaxy nah. of Messier 87, 
It has 6.5 billion solar masses <laughs> and was the first black hole we got an actual photo of, or rather, of the glowing gas around the edge of a menacing shadow. This sphere of darkness is so large that it covers our entire solar system. That's yet, ridiculous. There is a scale even above these kinds Stop. of objects. Ultramassive black holes. That name is way now, better. We reach the most massive black holes, perhaps the largest single bodies that will ever exist. These black holes have eaten so much that they've grown to tens of billions. I'm of sorry, I am in awe Their like this entire video. A quasar, an accretion disk shining brighter than thousands of galaxies full of stars. But it's so, so massive cool. That they deserve a title of their own. Ultra massive black holes. <laughs> the ultra massive black hole at the center of galaxy OJ287 is 18 billion solar masses. It's so big that it has a supermassive black hole nearly 40 times larger than Sagittarius A star orbiting it. This thing defies imagination. And really? It's really hard to compare to anything. It can comfortably fit three solar systems side by side inside of it. I cannot Let's comprehend how big that is. Competition and get to the king of kings. Ton There's more? The black hole that we can observe consuming galaxies worth of matter is shining with Please the brightness stop. of 100 trillion stars, visible from 18 billion light years away. It has an incredible 66 billion solar masses. A black hole so large that it would take light a week to reach the singularity after crossing the event horizon. About 11 solar a systems week. could fit inside of it. The speed of light! Inside. It may very well be the largest single body in the universe, but in reality, it's probably even larger. Since Tun 618 is so far away, we only see what it looked like 10 billion years ago. In any case, black holes oh. are scary and mysterious and gigantic. They'll be here after everything else dies and growing larger and larger. That is amazing. Okay, now let's do the trip again. Okay. From the smallest possible Let's go. Hole, I'll put it together. Let's go. To the largest. How fast am I not going to see the first one? Okay, bye. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is amazing. It's so big! And then one more after this one, right? Oh, that one's the last one, okay. Oh my god. Let's try something new today. We can call it Behind oh. the Lies. A short behind oh. the scenes bit about I like the this. necessary okay. inaccuracies in this video. Because inaccuracies? It's really actually possible to rank black holes like trading cards. Uh-huh. So? Well, while we've catalogued millions of stars, we really only have good data on a couple of dozen black holes. That's because black hole gazing wasn't really a thing until 50 years ago, and technically still isn't because we can't see black holes. Because technically, it's still not real, but kind of is. On the matter around them, like the orbit of stars that come close to them. This effect depends on the mass of the black hole, which we can approximate at the most basic level by okay. Kepler's laws. But this comes with huge uncertainties. I don't understand any of this, but I see what he's getting at. We have to convert mass to size next, which brings new uncertainties. For example, we calculated the radius from the mass using the Schwarzschild equation, which, for the sake of simplicity, assumes black holes are. This is easy, but it's probably wrong. And don't spin. A kind of black hole that doesn't really exist. God, this is crazy. The reality is that physics on these scales is a bit fuzzy. So some of the black holes we talked about here may be way smaller or way bigger. We just don't know for sure. Hopefully not we bigger, because my god. By comparing different sources with different kinds of values and Interesting. using different mass calculations to arrive at a standardized list that allowed us to be as accurate as humanly possible. You can look at all of this <laughs> in our source doc. As a result, like we this tried. was written with the tears of experts we oh. drove crazy with our obsession <laughs> for the best values they could live with. In this it's like, process, no, we want to do black hole. Stuff got cut and didn't make it into the final video. But luckily, we found a way to not waste all of it. We've created a lot of black hole merch, spanning the whole range from somewhat bonkers to more serious. Death by black this hole. Way, we get to explore a topic from different angles, and you get to continue having fun with hey. black holes after this Might video. Might have to ends. get that one. I got the birdie. Uh, 
I'm just in awe. I'm still in awe. That was amazing video. I loved it so much. All right, so that was exactly what I thought it was gonna be and they did not disappoint at all, like they do every single video, they don't disappoint. I mean, it's in a nutshell or Kurtz Degat, whatever, I still can't say it right, leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> this one is, it, I don't know why, I just love comparing things to other things, especially size, like I said at the intro of this, like Gundams and stuff like that, I had an example of that. But it's just, it, it fascinates me how like, like I said in the video, like I literally could not comprehend the size, like going like probably the last four, the last three or four uh, black holes. I literally could not comprehend the size of them. And that's just really, really fascinating to me. I love it so much. There's so much stuff out there that we don't know. Like even this video, like they can't precisely know ex like how big a black hole is because it's we don't know that much about them like it's really really cool and like he was saying at the end like we're just measuring like the stars and stuff around the black hole to try to like get an estimated number of what the black hole is and that's really really cool to me just the unknown that's out there just right past our well not right past our horizon but you know what i mean like just it's there it's around us it's like basically smothering earth and we don't know what it is and it's really really cool and it's just ah like it's so cool i love it so much i love space i love like all this kind of stuff like this and like you add size comparison to it and i'm like yes <laughs> i need more but yeah that was a really really awesome video i loved it so much i don't know what else to say about it i just i loved it so much this might be my favorite kurtz to get video just right off the bat. I mean, yeah, I just not watched it, so it's a little biased, but still, that one was really good. That was right up my alley. I loved it so much. Loved everything about it. And the ending, how he said, like, look, these are basically lies. Like, we don't actually know, but it's still really, really fascinating to see that stuff. I love it so much. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one so with that said i have been master zero y'all guys have been fantastic and i'll see y'all in the next episode later days